Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about forwarding references in ReactJS and I'm going to explain you in this how we can manipulate the DOM elements and how we can actually pass the data from parent to child with the help of forward refs. So let's get started. Guys, actually in our previous video when we created a complete project on the food ordering app, a uh, few guys uh, sent me messages that please explain the forward refs in detail. So I created a separate video for that. So that is the reason I'm going to explain this topic and it is going to be interesting. And it, uh, these questions are many times asked in our interviews as well as. So I'm going to tell you what is forwarding references. So if you can see the official document forwarding ref, ref forwarding is actually a technique for automatically passing a ref through a component to one of its child's member. So let's let's say that if, if I have a parent component, I need to pass the data to the child component and that child component elements are not existing in the parent component, how we can actually update the DOMs and how we can actually update those elements. So forwarding reference actually help us in doing that. So let's get started guys. Uh, you know, in our last video, we created the complete project, but, but before that, we have worked on the uh, context API. So now this time I'm going to create a new folder for forward referencing. So I'm going to say it forward ref demo, right guys? And in this, I'm going to add a parent class and I'm going to name it as uh, I can say parent ref component, right? So parent ref component dot JS and then I'm going to write it right so I'm going to export it and I'm actually cre creating a functional component so I'm going to export it and now I'm going to say uh, let's assume I'm going to say, uh, create a return I'm going to return something and I'm going to say div Okay, cool. And now in this, I'm going to say it H1, H1 and forwarding refs in ReactJS. Right, guys? And now I'm going to show the input control. And now I'm going to say the button. Update send value or we can something like this send value value to child component right cool and now i'm going to create this uh, input control in a separate now i'm going to say that if i click on the button in the parent component and it needs to update or send the value to the uh, input control to the child component and in this example I'm going to use uh, the forwarded referencing right so because it helps us to uh, sending the references of any data and it's going to update the uh, DOM element as well as so now let me create one more and I'm going to say it child ref component looks good I'm going to say child ref component I'm going to create a functional component I'm going to export it cool guys and now I'm going to return something again this approach I create a div and now I'm going to say it input and I, I can pass the type as well as if I need to text cool and now i'm going to use this uh, input control here so i'm going to say it import and it's in the same folder so now instead of input control i'm going to use this pass this and here i'm passing the right and i have some p tags which actually explains uh, ref forwarding is a technique for automatically passing a ref through a component to a child component or we can also say that ref forwarding is an uh, option a feature optional feature uh, and it also that lets some component take a ref they receive and pass it further down like we can say that if i get any reference from a parent i can pass it to my child and further 
and so on. So in this way, we can pass uh, data to our child's from the parents using the ref components. And it is an interesting topic and it's also helped us in handling the data uh, between the parent and child with passing the references. So now uh, I'm going to use, uh, actually I have a, I need to import this CSS class because Okay, and I'm going to say it class name heading. And I'm going to use this in the object component. I'm going to commit this. So guys, you can find out all our code from GitHub. Here, Amir Pervez, uh, React JS complete course. And I'm going to update all the projects and all the source files. You can easily download and use it. So not a big issue. I'm going to commit this and now I'm, I need to use my parent ref component and from where I'm going to use that I'm going to say okay I need to pass the path here topics and topics forward ref demo and forward ref demo parent right and now here I'm going to use this one component cool so now let's check it out what's the result if I go here you can see Forward ref, ref in React.js and these are actually uh, detailed information about the forward referencing. And now I if I click here, I need to pass the value to my child component without using any states or without using any uh, props. Right, guys? So now what I'm going to do, first I need to store some value. I need to make a reference. One thing more, guys, I remember one thing. Uh, like, forward, forward refs are actually and wrappers also. So, uh, uh, when we use the refs, uh, they are, uh, we, we need to remember one thing. We need to use them rarely because it was direct manipulation, uh, manipulating the dome. So, I'm going to tell you why we need to use it rarely. So, now I'm going to use input ref. I'm making some input ref and I'm going to say it use ref. So once I use a use ref, it actually calls that library at the top and I'm passing the default value to it. So now I'm going to say if I click on this button, it I need to update some value here and pass this use ref to the child component. So I'm going to say it, I can say const pass value to child component right and here I'm going to say it okay input ref dot current dot current will, will have the value and st styling as well as so I'm going to say it pass value value from parent I think it would be easy to remember and also I'm going to make some changes in the styling so I'm going to say it style dot color is going to be I can say green cool so now if I click on this button I need to pass some value to this child ref component so what I'm going to do I'm going to call on click it is going to call this and I, it is going to update this input ref. Now we need to pass some input ref. So I, I'm going, uh, here I'm going to say a ref and then we can pass the value to our child component. Ref, we need to use the ref and this value. Now what I'm going to do, I'm, I will go in the child component and now here we need to use a forward referencing concept. So what we need to do first, we will go here, we'll pass the props. And the second argument is actually the references. So we can name it anything like ref from parent. You can name it anything you like or you remember. So here I'm going to say input ref. Uh, ref is actually a default uh, attribute here in the React. And we need to attach our uh, component uh, with a ref from parent with to this references. So whenever it updates, it actually going to update this uh, DOM element, right guys? But uh, now it, it will not going to work as a forward ref until we pass the forward ref at the top. And remember one thing, we, whenever you apply a forward referencing to any of the child component, you need to wrap that component. Uh, like I 
told you earlier. Cool. So now this child parent child component is actually a forward ref component. It is actually using the reference from their parent, and we are passing the references here, and we are updating this reference on the parent component, and we are passing this reference value, and we can also update the DOM like styling and some other stuff as well as. So you can see here how it is uh, how it's simple it is to actually write the code for for from the parent, and we can update the DOM elements of our child component. So now let's do a practical example of this. If I refresh it, and I click send value to child component and update its DOM. See, we can uh, we update the color. We we send the value to this, and how easy it is. So uh, I I told you one thing that uh, remember uh, that if when you are actually using the use refs. You use it really not uh, may, uh, always. You need to prefer to use uh, use ref because it was directly updating the DOM element. So guys, uh, you know uh, uh, what React says. Uh, try to avoid updating the DOM directly. It actually violates the uh, React rules. So we need to follow this practice that don't violate the React rules. If you have really uh, really uh, need of this uh, refs, you can use at that time. Otherwise, try to avoid them. Otherwise, because it's uh, directly updating the DOM element. So React don't prefer this. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you understand this topic. I'm going to repeat it once again that these are all the code and all the uh, things and uh, presentation all uh, other stuffs are available on on this github link amir parvez react js I, I i will provide this link in the description and also you can uh, uh, see my old videos as well as here i'm going to explain all the concepts in quite detail and also uh, try to uh, don't use a ref uh, always prefer ref uh, try to avoid it if you really need need to use it use at that time otherwise uh, you have uh, some other ways of using passing the data in the react but it is a good example uh, if you need to learn a re, uh, forwarding referencing because sometimes uh, we have some scenarios where we need to really use it so you can use that you just need to pass the use ref pass some value in the ref and then you can pass to your comp child component and remember to wrap your for uh, child component in the forward reference and then you can use it so thank you very much guys i hope you enjoy the video and in the next video i'm going to explain some more topics in detail i'm going in quite detail and explaining the concepts as well as writing the code i hope you are understanding and enjoying my video don't forget to subscribe and share on your social media that with your friends thank you very much guys have a good day